road that traverses the vast coast redwood forest, allowing you to both cross and gaze upon it, running north to south. This is US 101 in Northern California. As I set out in the morning, the road gradually revealed its beauty through the hazy mist. Even when approaching sharp curves, I had to be cautious, as cars could suddenly appear at any moment. No matter when you visit, the mornings on this road were always like this. Now I am traveling Highway US 101 towards the Oregon coast. The redwood forest stretches north to south. It's not continuous but rather sporadically scattered, resulting in each forest creating its own separate park. Visiting all these vast parks wouldn't be easy. Let's explore the three most well-known ones and get to know the coast redwoods. First, let's visit the southernmost avenue of the Giants. The southern entrance is in the town of Phillipsville. The northern entrance is in Stafford, and the exit number on US 101 is 674. No matter which way you go when you exit, take California Route 254, and you'll drive 31.59 miles, roughly 51 kilometers, along the Avenue of the Giants. Even during the middle of the day, the path through the towering coast redwoods remains dimly, lit that's why all the cars have their headlights on. The road passes through several small towns. As you pass the Humboldt State Park Visitor Center, have a picnic and gather information. If you want to walk through the Redwood Forest and take a forest bath, find the Redwood Groves along the road. Founders Grove is the most famous, and you can take a walk while marveling at the enormous Redwood trees. On the day I visited, there was a forest fire in the nearby National Forest, so the hazy smoke filled the forest, making it difficult to enjoy the fresh air. Shall we take a walk? Next is Redwood National and State Parks. If you approach from the south, you'll first encounter the vast, sandy shores of the Pacific Ocean. There's a visitor center, and the picnic areas are well maintained. You'll often see fishermen casting their lines into the crashing waves, catching fish to grill, or fry right on the beach. I met a friendly Asian couple who generously shared some freshly caught fish with me. We devoured them one by one, and they were incredibly delicious, with no hint of fishiness. When it comes to the Redwood National and State Parks, the Lady Bird Johnson Grove is a must-visit. To get there, pass through Oric Village from the beach and take Bald Hills Road 4 about 3 miles until you reach the trailhead parking lot. Once you cross the bridge over the road, the trail leads you into the towering coast Redwood Forest. Lastly, there's the Newton Drury Scenic Parkway. It's part of Redwood National and State Parks but is actually Prairie Creek Redwood State Park. If you enter from the south, you'll find the Prairie Creek Visitor Center, 
and in the grassy area in front of it, elk are always grazing. Newton Drury Parkway is about 9 miles long. You can park your car in one of the turnouts, and take a forest bath, walk the trails, and before you know it, you've covered those 9 miles. Coast Redwoods along US-101 and the giant sequoias in Sequoia National Park near the Sierra Nevada Sea, which of these two types of trees is larger? Both of these trees belong to the same family. Coast Redwoods, which line the coast of California and Oregon, grow tall, while the giant sequoias in the vicinity of Sequoia National Park are voluminous. As a result, the world's tallest trees are the coast redwoods, and the most massive trees are the giant sequoias. That's why these redwood family members are known as the largest trees in the world. Their average lifespan ranges from 2,000 to 3,000 years. Having covered around 150 miles on US 101, we were so immersed in. The presence of the coast redwoods that we didn't realize how quickly the journey had passed 